So the first belt is already in. It's doing good. Second one I did not replace yet because the old one is pretty okay and I want to leave it. So the green one stays for replacement as soon as this one breaks. So we also replaced this switch which you might see is making a movement here in the spindle and it works like this. You select one letter and if you move it here over there it's also making tiny tiny movements and when you finish one letter um, you have to change um, also if you don't want to connect the letters you have also to put back up the machine so first option is by this by moving this it's doing a big movement and here you can select this is always 10 parts of a millimeter and by moving this in this and this direction spindle is doing a tiny movement I don't, know, I don't think you can see it on the camera but that's for like if you are milling or copying tiny things that's enough to like mill or engrave or not engrave so if you first bring it close to the P working piece and you here can select how deep you want to cut and then this is the second movement. Yeah, it's a very interesting machine. Nice piece of machinery. I'm happy to have it.